Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a viewer's request and it's called Snack and a Half. And this snack and a half dessert today is a frozen dessert. And of course, it's made up of simple ingredients. There's nothing all made about this other than you put it together, you freeze it, you could prepare it the night before if you're going to have guests the day of. So today I'm going to be using, oh well, I'll tell you as we go what we're going to be using, but I'm going to be using some oatmeal cookies. You can all make them if you want to, and I got a delicious recipe on Bonita's Kitchen you could use, or you could use the breakfast one. And we're going to be using score bars. You can also use crispy crunch or your favorite bar. So what I'm going to do now is show you what we're going to, we're going to start with the recipe and I'll show you as we go. So let's get started. Now I call these breakfast time cookies, but this break time, but I have them, I have them for breakfast. It doesn't matter to me. And these score bars, you could use these or crispy crunch and pretty much all you're going to do is tap them to crack them and that'll break them up and we need that for putting over the cookies. We're going to be taking them in layers, but what we're going to do first, we're going to toss them into some milk. I'm going to say two to three cups, but it's up to you um, what, how much you need and how big of a um, dessert you're going to be using. Only keep it in there for a couple of minutes. And we're going to be using some Cool Whip. So you could use one big large one or a couple of small ones. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to start layering the bottom of our pan. And like I said, you don't need to leave it in the milk very long because this is just to soften it a little. And um, when you start to put it all together, so you probably get about these many on the bottom of a square pan. And then the next, what we're going to do is put some the, the Cool Whip over the top of that. So you just put nice alping down on the top of the oatmeal cookies. And again, you could make your own. I got a delicious recipe on Bonita's Kitchen you could use. But to make it easier, if you didn't want to make anything, you just want to put this dish together, this nice frozen dessert, just pick up all of the ingredients, but get it while it's on sale. So you don't have to spend a lot in making it. So that's all you need to do there with that first layer. So I'm going to be using a score bar here today. So just like you said, take a little hammer and then just crack it up and then pop it open. And then what you're going to do, you're going to spread even amounts out over the top of the Cool Whip. Now I'm using Cool Whip. I'm sure you could use a whipped cream, but Cool Whip just freezes nice and it tastes as good as well. Don't need to add anything else to that. Now we're going to start again layering those cookies. I'm going to put some more in the milk and we'll get that going. So then again you pop in what you need in cookies. Don't leave it in just for a couple of seconds that's all because you only need for it to get a little um, just a little damp and then put it on top of the Cool Whip like this. So you just, what we're doing now, we're just going to continue layering until we get to the top. So then after you've done that layer, just take your whipped cream again, and or your Cool Whip or whipped cream, and just put it over the top. Now the difference in Cool Whip and whipped cream. Whipped cream, you'll make yourself, there's no fat in it, and it's not sweet. Cool Whip got fat in it and is a little bit, is not sweet, but it's got a little tiny tinge of sweetness in it. So you leave that because you want to make a dessert that is going to freeze nice and if it's on a nice summer day that you want this after a barbecue or if you're just having a cooked meal and you want it to have a frozen dessert after this would be my recommendation for you to make. So that's all you need to do there. So then top it with 
the remainder of the score bar. Now I got three bars here today, but you could you could use as much as you want, of course. But depending on how much you want in yours, you can have three, four, or more. So that's all you need to do there. So I think I'm gonna get two more layers and then I'm gonna show you the one I got made. Now I believe there's different names for this dessert as well because my friend Trixie, I think she calls hers a different name. But, uh, and again, the, the bars you want to use, you could use whatever you like. I was told that Crispy Crunch is nice because it's got that buttery taste and it, it cracks up well and it's not tough. But uh, I like the score bar because I like that crunchiness in there as well. So now you can stuff this there with cookies you can make it bigger and more more in there but what i'm going to do is just have that many for now this is the last layer you put your your cool whip over the top so pretty much you know what i'm doing here now and then i'm going to top it with the score bar and that'll be the last layer so that's all you need to do there it's looking good already i know you're going to enjoy having oh, some yeah. of this yep. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So then I'm going to top it with the score bar again. So, so if you make this dessert, tell me how you make it and what you put in it. If you whip up your own whipped cream, if you make your own cookies. But this is a quick version and I'm kind of doing this because the viewer that asked me for it said they don't want to fuss, they don't want to make things, they just want to make a nice dessert. And this is one that I would recommend for a nice warm summer or fall day. This is it, as good as it gets. So pretty much now all you need to do is put this in your freezer and leave it there, forget about it. You could cover it with some clear wrap, you can cover it with a lid. I got one done here in advance and it's got a lid. And what we're going to do now is cut out a nice piece and show you what it looks like when it's frozen. So pretty much this is what it looks like when it's frozen. The same thing, only it's frozen. And again, if you got a square pan with a lid, you use that one because you want to cover it. You don't want for it to get freezer burn. And then what you could do then, if you don't have a cover, just put a, a little bit of clear wrap over the top. Take it out of the freezer for a couple of minutes before you're going to serve it so it'll be easier to cut because again it's frozen and excuse the noise coming from the rocking of my pan so what i'm going to do now is just cut this out and i'm going to try to scoop the first piece up so after you got the piece you want to cut out this is a smaller pan this is what it looks like and you can see all the layers and how delicious is this so what i'm going to do is just put it over on this place with all of those oatmeal cookies and just look how delicious is that you know your company is going to want some of that dessert so this is it i hope you found this recipe that we're sharing with you today for snack and a half you can let me know what you call the one that you make is similar to this one maybe the same and i always find recipes they got so many different names i'm going to have a little taste of this one and i'm going to well well of course you know what it's going to taste like it's going to taste like oatmeal and all the cool nice texture but i want a little taste anyway oh my goodie so cool um the flavors actually the oatmeal cookies is nice and soft and you got that crunch from the score bar so delicious i hope our viewers is uh, that he requested this one today is pleased with the recipe i got raymond over there waiting now to get into some of these and then we're going to share well with some friends and family is going to stop by for a cup of tea so this will be exciting for us today so if you like this recipe and of course the few ingredients we do have in it we're going to share it with you at the bottom of this video today and as well the subscribe button is there if you haven't already subscribed we definitely appreciate that you do today because all of your family and friends will get to enjoy our delicious traditional and non-traditional Newfoundland and Labrador recipes. 
And of course, this recipe today is not a recipe of ours. It's a viewer's request. And of course, it's done all over the world. And that's what's so lovely about some of these recipes. As well, you can visit us on our Facebook page. You can also send us a message and visit www.bonitaskitchen.com and we'll share the steps of this recipe today in photos and a little blog there telling you all about it. So before I go, um, to thank the viewers again for requesting this recipe, keep your dessert in the freezer until it's all gone. If you're going to serve it, take it out for a few minutes just to cut into it. You don't want to cut yourself, cover it with clear paper or a, or a top, a lid. But that's it, as good as it gets. So from our kitchen to yours, thank you for joining us once again today. You have a wonderful day. If you're visiting Newfoundland and Labrador, don't forget to check out beautiful, the beautiful town of Arbor Grace and join us again on Bonita's Kitchen. Join us by the sea, a journey in culinary, always an open door. Bonita's Kitchen to yours, Bonita's Kitchen. Yours.